Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be using my updated TAC-56 class setup in Modern Warfare 2 Season 5. Now, I ended up dropping just back-to-back -back phenomenal gameplays. The first one, we play a different map, thankfully, and I get a very high KD gameplay. Kind of walk you guys through what I was thinking during the match. And then the second one, a whole lot of fails and a whole lot of kills, to say the least. Before we get into that, quickly want to shout out those of you who got the notifications on. If you guys like a shout out in the next upload, have them notifications on in the comment down below, Noti Gang. Without further ado, man, the TAC-56 here is why it's my favorite weapon in all of MW2. Just sitting back here sniping. Is there anyone else back here? Because like, just oh, there we go. I was about to say, no one's really been any in any gunfights. I think the spawns flipped. That's what it is. All right. Cool. I actually don't mind Raceway too. This is a, a good map. All I gotta do is get my, my UAV advanced or something, and then usually things are pretty... I see him right there on the left. I'm gonna turn around. It's usually pretty chill after that. Ain't nobody flanking me. Sorry, bro. Oh, shoot. Nice. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is the weapon that helped me get to Iridescent in Season 2 of Ranked Play. Without the attack, I don't think I would have ever made it because they're coming in. I'm more of a AR guy than an SMG. I did get some good Vaznev gameplay though in, in rank, but this is like the only real weapon I was rocking. The Vaz was just like, I was rocking it here and there, but I mean, the main character was 100% attack. I mean, just the way that you could build it, make it this accurate and like, I don't know. I think a lot of pro players also agree that this thing was just so much easier to use compared to the Vaznev. The Vaznev, I mean, dude, it was it was good, you know, for what it was, but... Oh my god, how are you messing that up? For rank, the Vaznev wasn't bad because it was a laser, but dude, when it comes to damage and... You're watching TV while we're playing? That... You wonder why some of these guys just get nuked in my lobbies? It's because that's what they're doing. They ain't taking it serious. Good job, teammate. Huh? Oh, I'm stunned. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Get me out, get me out. That was unsafe. Oh my god. Yeah, the Vasov wasn't bad for rank, but dude, I mean, this thing. The power it did at a range is what made it so deadly. So when you sit back just a little bit with this thing, it's kind of over. I'm not a brutal. He's running away. Okay, I need five kills. I don't really have a radar. I'm about to lock in a little bit. Hey, that guy's... I don't like that that one guy's sniping either. I'm going to be honest with you. That's another problem I'm having. That, like, bro, the snipers in this game, those things take you out very, very easily. My teammate. Okay. I'm kind of locked in right now. I want to get this new. Okay. Mage, my face right here. Are we good? Oh, the, heart, the thing's over here. Okay. One more kill for the nuke, I think. I'm just playing this one slow. But yeah, the damage this thing does at a range is just unbelievable. Haven't really changed my setup as a reason on it. Shoot. Oh my god, I was caught sprinting. I should have been dead, but he was reloading. Uh, we're still alive. Nice. Okay, cool. Let me know what level you guys are sitting at in Season 5 of MW2. Oh, still sitting there. In MW2, I'm, I, as you saw, I hit level 880. But before the season started, I was only at like 804, 805. I mentioned it before, but... I've leveled up almost 80 times. I've been having a lot of fun. I'm dabbling a little bit more into Warzone because of the nukes and the rewards. And oh, I wish multiplayer had more stuff like that, man. You 15 nukes, you get this cool blueprint. 20 nukes, you get this camo. Or 50 nukes, you get this cam. What? It's all good. It's all good. The next COD, it's, they already announced it. It's going to be MW3. I, I hope they actually make some positive changes and revert us back to a classic COD where the minimap works the way it's supposed to work. Ninja's a perk. It's all rumored, but... Rumors could be anything, bro. Who knows what they're really gonna do, but I, I really hope they revert some of these... these little body changes they've made. Nice, good job, teammate. Make the game feel more aggressive. I've talked about how the play style is. 
They slowed it down. They kind of dumbed it down, and I hate it so much. I'm trying to stay alive. I think we're flaw. Are we? Fl I th we might be flawless. I don't think we've died, so I'm trying to keep that alive right now. It's kind of why I'm locked in. Nice. He missed a shot too. Huh? No one else. This guy right here. See, look at the radar doesn't work the way it's supposed to. So that made for a free kill right there. Holy cow, bro. As you guys have seen, I've had no issues with recoil control. This thing's just been shooting straight and it's been the least of my worries all i got to do is just find the enemies and everything else is just kind of normal and good you just passed me oh my god you're getting body slammed in front of all your friends this is embarrassing 51 i think we're 51 and 0 right now holy cow a flawless game here on raceway i'm just playing the edges you can learn quite a bit. I saw the glare at the last second. No. I'm calling my nuke in. Game's over. A little bit slower, but I mean, hey, we got the job done. MGB nuke with attack 56. Again, I already showed, shared my this build in my top five for season five. Um, I definitely had to get some gameplay behind it because it's probably my favorite build I shared, so... It just gives me another excuse to run it. <laughs> Let's see what the final score line was. I, I really think I only died once. Come on, tell me it was a 54 KD. Oh, yes, it was. Nice. It could have been flawless if I didn't get sniped there, but... All right. Meet the whole lobby because these guys don't know how to get decent microphones in 2023. I'm pretty sure the... Pretty sure that your controller sounds better than that. Damn, bro. Hey, Mithy. And I'm on my map, too. This is going to be great. I got to do another hand cam, man. I don't know what it is, but I love doing the hand cam videos so much. It's so fun. Dude, you have a Cronus plugged in. Show exactly where my controller is plugged in. What are you going to say? Oh, no, it's a bot lobby. It's a bot lobby. That's why That's why you're shooting straight. They're bad. Got it. Got it. Um, I mentioned a little bit in... Oh, it was him. A little snake in. You, know you guys want to do a little bit of that, huh? I am a prodigy at MW2. I was in my element during ranked. I ain't gonna lie. No one could touch me when it came to that. Oh, that was such a good time. I hope there's ranked like literally immediately in the next Call of Duty game. That's something it needs that it never has is ranked right away. It's it's like the best way to get good at games. Play against the best, you, you get good, man. You gotta play against people who are better than you to get good at the game. If you're just handed everything, kind of like how these newer games do it to you, you're not going to get good. People are just going to stay bad, and all the good players will stay good. Oh, my God. I already have quick fix, too, so I can just keep pushing every gunfight, because every kill I get is just going to give me um, my health regen, like, immediately. That's what makes it so good. So now I can kind of just get into wall bank. I'm getting like I could just kind of free ball in a sense I, I don't know how, I don't know about any better way to put it but I did mention that MW2 was like officially revealed I know like a few weeks ago it was leaked by someone at monster believe it or not they actually got fired which is kind of nuts what an idiot like you didn't you think you weren't gonna get people weren't gonna figure out who what like who leaked it but uh the release date for it was also announced in a little teaser. They just confirmed it was MW3, and it comes out. Oh my god, I should be dead. Oh my, yeah, you take me out. I shouldn't be alive right there. I gotta get this new. The release date was um, also announced to be November 10th, which it's cool. I wish it was a few weeks earlier, like at the end or middle of October. I mean, come on, the sooner the better, especially with what the hell we're playing right now. That'd be great. That's just throwing nades. It's kind of annoying. The second I can pre-order, I'm going to go ahead and do it so I can get all the cool stuff. Plus, I'm going to play it anyways. Like, I don't care. It's Call of Duty. I think all of us are going to buy it, so... Might as well hit that pre-order button. Holy cow, these guys are everywhere. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh. My teammate. My nose itches. So, can one of you guys get it? Oh my god. What the heck? No, I'm dead. No. Oh my god. No! What? This... Bro, this game does not want me to get a nuke. There's no way. Bro. You know what's crazy about the next COD, too? Is... All the advertising they've done for it so far is basically just letting us know... What is going on? Hey, they're just spawning them anywhere. What? All, all the marketing they've done for the new Call of Duty game is literally just telling us, hey, it's not going to be like MW2. Um, they ended up sending some creators like some packages and they sent them uh, some slides, a random just rusted can, and then a phone. So slides, can, sell. Basically confirming they're bringing back slide canceling. Um, it was also rumored that I already mentioned the, in the first gameplay, they're going to be bringing back um, Ninja is a perk, Red Dots on the mini map, which the Red Dots on the mini map were in um, a different version of the game that was tested by creators. And then they ended up taking it out of the game. So it's like all the advertising they're doing is like, hey guys, don't worry. It's not going to be MW2. So basically, for me personally, at least what it sounds like is yeah, the next Call of Duty game. Oh, I heard footsteps. Oh, this is rough. I'm at like 100 kills and no nuke. Ugh, is it going to be one of those? It's been like this a little bit too much recently. I was talking pretty hot. I ain't going to lie before, before this map. Well, we're looking good. UV up. So it just seems like we're getting a game called MW3, but they're doing everything that they could have done to this game. It's, it's basically like a huge... A huge patch update for MW2. That's what MW3 literally sounds like. That's not what it is, but it just sounds like that. It's kind of annoying that they could have just overhauled this game. I just think it, Infinity Ward had... They had their vision set on what they wanted for the game. It failed miserably. And now these other studios, Sledgehammer and Treyarch specifically, are really trying to like... Let's get this advanced up. They're really trying to fix what they ruined. Like, it's just that Milsim, that Milsim slow pace gameplay. It's just, bro, people don't like that stuff. Not any, like, that's just not what COD is, man. Like, we need a. I'm glad they're reverting back. I really hope Sludge, or I hope Infinity Ward sees, like, yeah, what we were doing was, in, that was just not a good idea. Let's not make that horrible mistake ever again. Reload real quick. All right, I gotta, I gotta take the, I gotta take advantage of this advance, you know. They're all pushing me now. Huh? Oh shoot! Yes. Holy cow! This is a bad spot. Shoot! I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get over here instead. I think. Nice. Uh. Oh no! No, 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 no. The nade. That, bro, that nade. Oh my God. So weird. Bro. I, this game does not want me to get a nuke. I don't know. This is just, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going to be pre-ordering the next COD game or not. Again, I'm going to, regardless, I'm going to play it. I'm going to make content on it anyways. Or are you going to wait for the beta? Maybe wait for the release and see how people really feel. Maybe you'll even wait until season one. See if the content's even good. Shoot. I'm looking forward to a new camel grind and, you know, all that type of normal stuff. Playing the new maps, learning them, learning the spawns. Using new weapons. Like, I'm, uh, you know... All the normal stuff you get out of a, a new COD release. What the hell's going on? Nice, good job, teammate. It's one of my favorite things, man. The camel grind's so good, bro. Just try and do it as quick as you can. For me personally, because 
Bro, ranking up all the guns and just get... Nah, that's crazy. Ranking up all the guns and getting that out of the way is so nice because then you could... Then, after that, you could do whatever the hell you want. All your, all, everything's done. You know, I know some people are like, well, I'm just going to level up what I'm going to use and that's it. Well, I, I like to have the camo. Sometimes it's a flex, sometimes it isn't. Like Damascus, yeah, not much of a... These guys are sweating their asses off now. Like something like Damascus, yeah, probably not... Uh, probably not that much of a camo to flex about, but... You could also just be like, well, I have the camo. This kid's hitting shots, hold on. Bro, I gotta get this new. We don't have much time. Oh my god, we're at 157. No, this kid's hitting every shot now. No. No, I need to get a nuke. Come on, we gotta get a nuke. We gotta get a nuke. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's gotta be a what? Oh my god! Dude, he is not missing. Oh my god, he's literally hitting every shot. Come on, we gotta get this. We gotta get this. No, I'm walking in the nades again. I'm walking in the nades again. I'm walking in the nades again. Come on. Oh, please put that thing away for a little bit. Huh? Come on. Oh my god. What are these spawns? No, he's 360 and stuff. Oh, I do oh, this is not good. Come on, triple cap down? There's no way. We got the overwatch up. Oh no. Oh my god, he just did that. What is going on? Advance UAV up. All right, that's good. Yeah, stop sniping. Come on, lay down real quick. I have like no time. No! Oh my God. Oh my God, I didn't get the nuke. What is going on? I have 182 kills and no MGB nuke. It is what it is, man. I'm going to keep them fails in there. Anyways, here is the TAC-D6 class that I was using in the gameplays. If you guys saw my top five, this is the same exact build. So, uh, yeah. Sorry if you got to see it again. Anyways, we got the demo clean shot grip. We get sprint to fire speed with this. So, my weapon comes up quicker after sprinting. ADS speed so I can be quick and snappy with my shots. Got to increase the magazine size. The base is 30 and uh, 60 for me personally. It's too much. It'd be nice to have but it does slow your weapon down a little bit more than having the 40 on. So I just kept the 40. Uh, if you feel like you got to increase it, you're more than welcome to. It's kind of personal preference. I then threw in the high velocity ammunition. I get bullet velocity. This is going to help me just be a lot more successful at longer ranges. The bullets are going to come out of the weapon a little bit more quickly. That'll lead to a faster time to kill. Uh, we then have the X10 Gravedigger Underbarrel, where I get a huge increase in recoil control and accuracy. This is going to help me land a lot more of my shots, just be more accurate overall. And then same goes for the muzzle. we got the Cronin OP44, vertical and horizontal recoil control. With this muzzle and our underbarrel, man, I, I swear, you are going to be hitting every single shot with that combination. And then for the tuning, um, I tuned my rear grip for the pros that it offered, the aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Uh, same for the ammunition. I tuned it for damage range and bullet velocity, which... Um, you know, I'm tuning for, for the pro and the con, so that just makes this attachment even more deadly. For the underbarrel, I did recoil stabilization and then aim walking speed. I love strafing back and forth. I do it all the time. If you saw the game plus, I was doing it in every single gunfight, so it only made sense for me to tune it for that. And then finally for the muzzle, I did recoil stabilization and recoil control, so just fully dedicating this attachment to recoil control and just making my weapon once again accurate as possible here's the rest of the class so if you guys are interested in that if you made it to the end of the video comment down below 182 kills man that's how you know you guys made it to the end i'll be liking heart your guys's comments and i'll see you in the next upload only if you guys are subscribed with those notifications on all right you guys all stay safe have a great day and i'm out peace